The City of Ann Arbor will be installing two sets of Sentinel monitoring wells, which serve as an early warning system. These wells allow the city to detect 1,4-dioxane in the Gelman plume if it moves northeast and toward the City of Ann Arbor's drinking water source at Barton Pond. This will allow the city to ensure the quality of the drinking water. During this video, we will provide background information on the 1,4-dioxane plume, where Sentinel monitoring wells will be installed, what to expect during the drilling and well installation, and provide resources for additional information. Washtenaw County maintains information on their website, including this map of the current groundwater plume of 1,4-dioxane. In this illustration, the pale yellow color indicates everywhere that 1,4-dioxane is detected at a concentration of at least one part per billion. The salmon color depicts concentrations at and greater than 85 parts per billion. Other features of this map are monitoring wells within the plume, depicted by the small black and white symbols, Individual residential drinking water wells to the north and south, depicted by these small black circles, the Huron River, and Barton Pond. The red dashed line is the prohibition zone where groundwater use is prohibited. As the path of the Gelman plume indicates, the vast majority of the plume within the city is headed east toward the Huron River. However, there is an initial trend from the Gelman site to the northeast before heading to the east. The area in the northeast was modeled in 2019 and presented to the public. The purpose of the model was to determine if 1,4-dioxane impacted groundwater was moving to the northeast, and if so, where that migration would likely occur. While the vast majority of the groundwater is flowing east, there is potential for contaminated groundwater to flow through thin, sandier areas amongst the clay along the northernmost portion of the plume. The two yellow circles represent where the Sentinel monitoring wells will be installed and monitored for the migration of 1,4-dioxane. The two locations chosen are on City of Ann Arbor property. The first well is in the green space of Sequoia Parkway, southwest of the Maple Road Miller Avenue intersection. The second well is northeast of the intersection in Garden Homes Park. Well drilling will take a few weeks in each location and is expected to occur mid to late summer. The depth of the drilling may be up to 300 feet. At each location, an exploratory borehole will be drilled to learn about the geology, hydrology, and potential contamination in the groundwater. Based on that information, up to two wells will be installed in each location. Well drilling will occur between normal business hours and there will be drilling sounds that are unavoidable during this process. Equipment on site will include support trucks and a large drill rig similar to the one in the photo. Part of Sequoia Parkway may be blocked during this time and the area where drilling occurs in Garden Homes Park will be blocked off, but it will not interfere with park use. At each of the well locations, up to two monitoring wells will be installed, flush with, with the ground with a small concrete pad around each well. The ground surface and vegetation will otherwise be restored. Occasional groundwater sampling of the wells will occur to determine if the 1,4-dioxane plume is migrating to the northeast. Sampling will occur during normal business hours and will be limited to a truck and small handheld sampling equipment. If you are interested in additional information regarding the 1,4-dioxane plume, please visit the link provided.